I can't help but think back. Going hunting with my dad, my brothers, and seeing bulrushes like this. I would take the bulrushes that are intact. I'd break one off and I'd pretend to beat a drum. I didn't have a drum when I was a kid. But I recall making a drum years later with my dad and my Blackfoot brother Daryl. And we sat around the table in Siksika territory making drums. And after we made a drum, I felt so proud of it, making a drum for the very first time. But my heart took me back to the experience here. Good memories, man. Great memories. Hi, my name is Stan. One of my favorite all-time Seinfeld episodes was the classic episode with the cookie. He had multicolors in this cookie, and Jerry told Elaine, look to the cookie. And it was all about relationships, that cookie, and how people can get along if we can just look at the cookie. If you look all around me, the bulrushes grow in vast numbers. You never just see one bulrush grow. Bulrushes don't survive if it's just one bulrush. They survive and thrive if they all stand together. In this particular patch, there must have been about, maybe about a couple hundred. And then there's a blank area over here where there's none. See a big tree over there. But just on the other side of that, there's more bulrushes. Bulrushes find stagnant water, muskeg. And then they start growing. Another one grows. And all of a sudden, there's hundreds. Just behind the camera, there's no bulrushes. To the left of the camera over here, there's none. To the right, there's none. But for some reason, they're here. And they're here in numbers. They're here because in numbers, they not only survive, but in numbers, they thrive. That is my cookie. I'm Stan. Thanks.